everybody so I just made me some a little snack to eat because I'm hungry and I'm really trying to get like on a little health kick before my vacation which is like just now June 22nd but like my body like can transform like really really fast as long as I eat healthy um, and then I just do like some ab workouts or whatever like obviously I won't get a booty in that time but like my stomach can go down if I just eat good eat healthy but um, ew, my face feels so dry right now. Ugh. So I have me a little snack right here. Usually I do like big whole tomatoes. Not like whole tomatoes, but like I cut them up. But this time I just start, decided to try something different. I have my toast, my whole wheat toast, my avocado. Um, and then I put pico de gallo on it. And then I just sprinkle some oregano on it because oregano is just the shit. So I'm about to eat that, watch a couple YouTube videos. I do have work to do. I like I need to edit my vlog. I need to edit another video for um, me for me and TG's channel. And then um I gotta do some other Instagram stuff for some brands. So I've got work to do. It's just like when you come back from vacation, because I just came back from Miami, it's like you don't want to do anything. I don't know how people go on vacations for like seven days and then literally the day they come back, the next day they have to go to work. Like I would die. Like I need like two days off and then I'll feel better but yeah so um I just got a package too but I'm gonna show you guys what I got like in an upcoming video because I'm gonna do like a pack with me to um St. Martin where I'm going we're going literally like 11 days not 11 days we're gonna be in Toronto in 11 days and then we're gonna be in St. Martin in like two more days two more days after the 11 days we're actually gonna be staying at my little small house so yeah, he's gonna like be chilling with the fam and stuff like that. And yeah, I'm excited. So I got a bunch of stuff from the Windsor store. As you can see, it's like a sneak peek thing, but this looks so good on my skin color. Oh my goodness, like this bathing suit right here too. I'm so in love. I can't wait to show you guys. And this oh, this bag right here. You see, you guys are gonna sneak peek of everything. This bag right here is everything. Like I have one in burgundy, like an, um, a nude color, and then now I have black. This is definitely what I'm gonna wear to the airport. And it's gonna look so freaking cute. But um, yeah, I'm about to go put some lotion on my face because my face feels hella dry. And then I'm gonna go eat my food and I will talk to you guys soon. And for everybody wondering like how I know like I'm losing like weight and stuff, not even weight, like just inches off my waist because that's what I'm really trying to do. Like I wear my waist beads, these right here, and like obviously if I eat or if I'm like gaining weight in my waist or whatever, like it will literally like go up because it won't have enough space to go down. So what I'm trying to do is just keep it like down here because I've, I've worn these before and they like been like up here okay so um yeah I'm just trying to keep it down here and just come on just a little bit just a little bit <laughs> so yeah if you guys know anybody who sells waist speeds definitely get them I have like a whole bunch but yeah just gotta keep that waistline small <laughs> oh god I can't let you guys see that mess back there Hey guys, so I just finished my mini workout, worked on my booty and my abs, just took a shower. So now I'm about to have a snack. So you guys kind of seen what I had for like brunch, breakfast type of thing. So my snack is going to be a salad. So I'm gonna have some organic baby spinach and arugula, some cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna add cucumbers here and a little bit of salad dressing. So that's gonna be my um, my snack. And then I think later on for dinner, I'm gonna have my salmon and my asparagus and my caramelized onions. And I have a little bit of baby potatoes, but I don't want much of that because I'm trying to do like a minimal carbs thing. And I already had like bread this morning, which is like carbs. So I'm trying to do minimal. I might give that to just TG or something and just have the arugula, I mean the asparagus and the, the salmon. And um, yeah, and then after for a snack, like later on after that, 
I'm gonna have some fruit. So I'm trying to keep it like healthy as possible, you know? Gotta get that body right, because I'm going on so many trips, like it's crazy. Um, I already started going on a lot of trips, so I just need to get this body right, because my body has been changing and I noticed a difference, but I'm, I haven't been doing anything about it. Um, so I'm trying to do something about it right now, while I can. So, um, yeah, I have, I have, I have St. Martin coming up, I have Vegas coming up, I have Bahamas coming up, I have Jamaica coming up, so your girl's body gotta get on point, okay? And I just gotta make this more of like a lifestyle thing. When I get back to Toronto, I'm gonna have my mom chefing up my meals. My mom makes all my sister's meals because my sister has lost so much weight. She's been going at it for like 30 days. If I can, I'm gonna ask her. I'm gonna insert her progress pictures right here. It is crazy. She did that for 30 days, eating healthy, and um, like working out, I think it's like three to four times a week. So I was like, wow. So I make my mom um, do my meals too, you know? Get me on point. Cause I feel like when it comes to food, that's what really gets you. Because you just go out to eat wherever you want. You have a burger here, you have, you know, whatever you want, whenever you want, pretty much when you don't have like a set diet. So I'm trying something different. And then obviously being here in Texas, bruh, me and TG go to eat all the time. So now I'm just chefing up all my stuff. And if he doesn't like it, that is too bad. I'm cooking for myself then. Because you know how he is with the vegetables and all that type of stuff. So I'll make like what I can for him, but I'm cooking for myself now. Sorry, babe. All right, so this is my salad. And I try not to put too much in there because it is all about like portion sizing as well. And me, I'm the type to eat like so much because I don't eat a lot of times in a day. So I would eat a lot at once. So now I've been trying to eat more frequently throughout the day, but like smaller portions. So this is actually pretty small for me. Like I would eat so much more than this. So yeah, I just put some tomatoes, um, the salad, arugula, the spinach and arugula, cucumbers. And now I'm deciding which sauce I want to try. This is the sesame ginger. I heard that um, anything like ginger or sesame um, is really good, especially I heard that from Shameless Maya, so I want to try it for myself. And then I also have my favorite um, balsamic um, vinegar. And obviously when it comes to like these things, they're not the healthiest choices, but you just don't want to put a lot of it. So I'm about to have that for my little snack. Guys, so I just tried the sauce and I don't think I like it. Like. The aftertaste is really, really weird. I don't know. I'm just, I think I'm just going to stick to my balsamic vinegar. But, yeah. As you can see in the fridge, I'm trying not to stick to, like, you know, more healthier stuff. So I have the tomatoes, blackberries, strawberries for, like, snacking. I have my pico de gallo, which I like to put on my toast and avocado in the mornings. Um, this is the bread that I have here, whole grain bread. Um... I have the salmon in here, which I cooked yesterday, along with the potatoes and asparagus in here. For breakfast, I also have some bacon, because I just love bacon, turkey bacon. And then I have this, just in case like I want a, like, a lunch or something, just to have a little smoked turkey breast. I know this is not good at all, like it isn't, but like it's healthier than what I've been eating. So, yeah, beers for bae. <laughs> um, so this is what my next meal is going to be. I'm going to cook some green beans. I, I sort of wanted to do a stir fry, so I'm going to do something like that. But without like rice or noodles or anything. So I have green beans, um, some red onion, some snow peas, and some red pepper. And this is what I'm going to make in my stir fry next time. So what is this? Oh, I got some apples as well for snacking. And then I'm gonna cook it. Woo. And then I'm gonna cook the stir fry with some chicken breast. You guys will probably see that tomorrow. I'm gonna make that tomorrow. If not tomorrow, um, the day after. And then the stir fry. Where's the stir fry sauce that I got? So this is the stir fry sauce that I got, which I'm gonna try out and hopefully it tastes good. If not, I'll be sad. But I don't know, we're gonna see. This sauce, I can't wait to try it. It's mango, hot and sweet mango sauce. And I love like anything mango, like anything that's mango and which is also hot, like I'm in love. So it says mild on it though. So we'll see about this. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm about to eat my salad and get this party started. <laughs> mm.
Good stuff. Guys, I don't want to be weird. Like, I don't want to be the only weird one here, but who else is obsessed with mukbang eating shows? Like, I'm obsessed with them. I think I'm really weird. Don't judge me, though. I watch mukbangs. I watch ASMR videos. Like, I'm just... I have... I don't know. I'm just weird. All they do is eat and talk. Like, look at this. I just love them so much. Sandwiches are ultimate comfort food to me. Is it because I like the crunching sound? I don't know. It's just... I just like watching them. <laughs> Let me know down below if I'm the only weird one. Or if any of you guys watch mukbang shows or... Um, ASMR videos. Let me know because I feel hella weird for liking these type of things. My friends think I'm weird. My boyfriend thinks I'm weird. Maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> Bae just got home and he's singing out loud so I'm gonna catch him. What's up? Today is yeah. Apparently this is gonna be fun as shit. Um, five hour two, right? Five hours. <laughs> Anyways, today is Saturday morning, and we're about to do something fun. It's always an adventure, something new with Brian, with TG. He's always down to do something different and cool. So we're going out with a few of his work people, his work friends, and we're going to go tubing. I haven't actually, actually, have I been tubing? Maybe when I was like younger, but I haven't been. In like forever so this is exciting to do tubing in Austin we got like beers and drinks and everything packed um, uh, so it's, it's gonna be fun I'm excited got my swimsuit on the swimsuit is well not this I'm wearing this as a cover-up this is from forever 21 and then my swimsuit is from the Windsor store it's so cute so I am actually gonna be doing a pack with me to St. Martin, so you guys will see that in a future video. They also say, don't bring no glasses unless you have a landed on because you'll probably lose it. Damn, I didn't know you had the camera on me. Really? So don't, don't bring glasses, don't bring, we're going to keep our phones in the car. Really? We're going to flip over and stuff? Yeah, they said the two flips over like throughout the river ride. Well, that means no camera for me, no nothing. <laughs> no vlog, sorry. No vlog, <laughs> sorry, but I'll let you know how it goes. And no glasses, like I need glasses. I look ugly. I totally forgot to bring my waterproof camera. I, I didn't bring it here in Austin. I left it in Toronto because I'm like, I'm not gonna do anything watery, like water sports or anything. So I figured I didn't need it, but I could have brought it from Miami. I was actually gonna tell my sister to bring it to Miami for me, but I forgot. I was gonna ask her to bring it to Miami and then also so I can have it here, but whatever. Um, no, I'm just gonna live in the moment, have fun with Bay. So I will see you guys probably when we're finished. Like Bay is literally out there talking to like everybody, people. I don't even know if he knows all of them, but he's out there talking to other people. I'm just here in the car, cause like I don't know, I just feel awkward. Like when it comes to his job and stuff like that, I have to meet so many people and like be acquaintances, be like kind of like not their friend, but like just interact with them and um, I have anxiety I'm he's coming right now I'm very shy so that's why I'm just here in the car get your ass out the car man Stop. it's time to bond with people come okay. on okay break the ice okay I was come just on. showing can I just show them in the mirror close the door huh? I was trying to show them in the mirror close why the are you door. trying to show in the mirror just, just close the door really it's only three all right close the door us. real quick So yeah, they're all over here. See, get away! They're all right there. And I'm just here chilling in the car by myself. Okay, now get your ass out the car. Come on. Why, baby? Huh? Why? Why? Is the girl there? Yeah, they're here now. Come on. What's up guys? So today is a new day. I don't think I came on and told you guys about tubing. So tubing was so much fun. I think there was about 10 to 15 of us. 
um it was so much fun we all had like our own food we were all tied together and we went on a five hour tubing ride can you imagine five hours just in the water going down the lake it was crazy so we had food we had drinks we had music so it was a lot of fun some people got really really wasted like white boy wasted <laughs> but um yeah it was still a lot of fun we had so much fun um Guys, I lost my glasses, my friggin' Key Australia glasses. Remember TG said, don't bring your glasses. They said, don't bring your glasses. I even brought, bought the, um, the thing that you like tie onto your head. So it was like, you know, like, I don't know. So you don't lose your glasses. I forgot what it's called, but those things that like tie around your neck and your head. So you don't lose your glasses. But literally at one point, so we were in the tube, we were going, we we're reaching a certain point where it gets crazy. So we turned around, there was a rock right there. We, our tube hit the rock, our tube hit the rock. I literally fell out of the tube, flipped over, almost hit my head on the rocks. My glasses came off and then the water is just so strong. So it was like pushing me, pushing me. I'm like, help, help. And then, t then Brian's tube, our tube was still going down. Brian had to hop out of the tube, hold on to the tube, step on the friggin' rocks and the rocks friggin' are so painful. And he's like, baby, baby. It was so funny, but it was actually really painful. So, yeah he's like come here come here and then he was holding on to all our stuff so he couldn't even let the tube go so i like already tumbled over my hair is all wet glass is gone everything i'm like ah, ah. it was freaking hilarious but it was a lot of fun i would definitely go back with like my girls if they ever come to austin and stuff like i would definitely go there but i do prefer being on the boat when we went to lake travis that was a lot better because this was just crazy but this was actually very relaxing except for the parts where we got to like very very shallow water where it was like so many rocks like you have to wear like water shoes if you want to be like super comfortable and not hurt your feet yeah that was that tubing was fun but i just went on the website key australia and i bought myself some new glasses so i ended up picking up two i got the rose gold not the rose gold i got the gold ones that i lost and then i picked up the faded black ones which are the new ones because i like my black ones I like these black ones that I have, but they're like a black and silver and like, I don't know, like a black and silver is just really not my thing. So I ended up getting the faded black ones and yeah, hopefully I like that better. So yeah, TG is at work right now. He has a really, really long day. He doesn't finish until 10 p.m. So that's a really long time. He's been gone since like 7, 8 o'clock. So I'm in here editing videos, um, cooked up some stuff. I can show you guys what I cooked. So I made some rice, I made a little bit of vegetables with chicken, um, and I added the stir fry sauce that I said I was going to add, and then here is the chicken breast that I made. This is mainly for PG, so yeah, these are the little green beans that I cut for him. I made him like, I made him like 16 green beans, I'm like, you gotta have some today, and you gotta have some tomorrow, so here, we, here it is, so he's better eat the chicken with the green beans, and with the rice okay so yeah i got like five hours until he comes home which is so annoying but i felt like i should show you guys now that he's not hidden anymore i can show you guys our scrapbook that we made it definitely needs to be updated it hasn't been updated for a really long time so i'm gonna show you guys our scrapbook so cute and then i'm gonna make myself a salad then I'm gonna do a mini workout probably outside because I just really want to sweat and stuff like that so hold on I'm gonna show you guys our scrapbook real quick so this is our scrapbook it says happiness today bliss protection all these random things on it amazing enjoy so just like a bunch of words that describes our life together I would say and our journey is it the wrong way girl doesn't know how to open a book bring me back to school so we still have not decorated these pages. We have to like decorate each of these pages, especially when we go on like vacations and stuff like that. So we're gonna have to do one for St. Martin, but okay. So this is when we first met, like not first met, but when I first like stayed over his house, like, and it was our first time really, really meeting. So this was like the first, the beginning years, like 2000, was it 15, I think? 2015 2014 I don't even remember but yeah we went to the zoo 
Um, this is when he surprised me in Niagara Falls. And this is our little FaceTime sessions. But yeah, this is the first time that we ever kissed, which is so cute, so funny. Um, I think this is the second time I visited. This is when he was Wizard Kelly TG in my vlogs. You guys go back to like my vlog Sember and stuff like that. Oh, so many memories. This is when we went to the space, is it the space station? Whatever it's called, not the space station, uh, I don't even remember what it's called, but it's in Houston. What an ugly picture, like, look at my face. Uh, and this is when he took me to, why don't I ever remember these names, but it was downtown Houston, um, and we went ice skating, love that. This is when we went to San Antonio. This is at House of Pies. These are these pictures I love. Like I adore these pictures. Oh, so cute. Oh, I love that picture. <laughs> that is just so cute. Um, this is when he came to Toronto. This is in Toronto on the subway, Toronto CN Tower. Toronto, Toronto, Toronto. Yeah, you see him with Munchie and Bonds. We went out this night. We were so turnt. You guys, I think my, I have a vlog on this as well. Um, here he had to wear Shantae's sweater the whole time. Like when we were down there because he didn't bring anything warm. So Shantae, because she's like very tall and stuff, she brought this sweater for him. And he's literally wore it the whole time. He's like, I'm like a pastor in a church wearing this thing. <laughs> so funny. Um, yeah, this is also when he came to Toronto, which we will be coming back in a few days. Oh, I love this picture. So we're both like sticking out our tongues when we're sleeping. So funny. His tongue. And then mine over here. <laughs> and then this is when we had a little photo shoot wearing purple. We have a lot of photo shoots in Houston. We need to have more in Austin. This is when he took, he surprised me. I have a vlog on this too. And he took me to the Rockets game. This is when we went to New York for my business trip with Garnier and my friend James right here. So funny because I met Brian because of James pretty much. So that's funny. Here we're in, um, I think Harlem or Brooklyn on the steps here. Good times, man, with good people. Manhattan, Times Square. Times Square at Time Inc. Studios. Doing it big on set. <laughs> See, Time Inc. So this is when we went to Cancun on our vacation. This water was so freaking blue, like, oh my goodness. This is when we went scuba diving. We love scuba diving so much. Can't wait to go back. Yeah, we take corny ass pics. <laughs> Has so much fun. Like, look at the pictures we took underwater. This is our crew on one of our excursions. We held um, parrots and stuff. Oh my gosh, I love these pictures. So yeah, we haven't updated this since Cancun. Like after that, it's just empty. So we definitely have to, you know, get this on and pop in. I have a bunch of pictures that we need to print out. And um, yeah, so these are like our little title page things. So we have like different colors, which every time we do something cool, we're gonna like decorate this page. So this will say like, Cancun 2000 and whatever and you know have like a big picture of us here and then after that will be a bunch of pictures of us in Cancun and stuff like that so our theme was gold purple black and white so yeah oh my god this just brought up so many memories I just want to cry we come a long way so yeah I know you guys so I'm gonna end the vlog here I know you guys barely got to see TG but he will be in the next we just posted a new video, most likely to challenge. So Illwood said, most likely to want a lot of kids after marriage. We gotta, we gotta vote B. Put them bees yeah. up. Put I gotta them have bees. me some babies. 
Yeah, he wants like seven kids. Twelve. By any means necessary. So go check that out and I'll see you guys all in the next vlog. Love you.